to Barra. I'm out at the airport, actually. Remember when I used to come out here for Uber? Not anymore. Today I came out to drop two true love off. She is headed to uh, New York City to see her sister. So, safe travels, hon. And um, the reason I filmed that blue horse, I don't know if you the I don't know if you remember if you even seen this video, but basically the second most popular video now on the vlog is all about that blue horse. And the reason is is not necessarily because of the content, but because of the title. I knew the vlog was going to be go check it out, go check it out, upper right hand corner. I knew it was going to be a successful video because of the title and um, so anyway that blue horse has a crazy history crazy story uh, about it kind of sad actually but I uh, go check out that vlog all right headed back home to work a day oh it's kind of bright I'm gonna keep these on all right true love is in New York uh, the boys are with grandpa I'm home alone uh, working from the house but taking a little midday break pick some weeds you know get outside in the beautiful sunshine the rain is gone remember the rain now and the tree blew over now crazy clouds now I digress it's beautiful out now so I'm gonna take advantage for maybe 15 20 minutes pick some weeds out here and uh, that is that folks nothing too exciting just pounding ground on a Thursday so I'm excited for the weekend though I must say that much oh I hope you guys are having a great day let's go myself 6 15 p.m. and no one's at the house except for me what do I do what do I do what do I do is that the question of the day what do you do when your family's out of town I don't even know it's like I don't even know what to do there's too much time on my hands just kidding I'm gonna do a lot I'm gonna work on the yard work on the dishes work on the toys you know there's always something to do there's always but first Dinner. Cobb salad. Try and eat healthy. Try and eat healthy, everybody. Going for the salad over the, you know, um, the pasta or the, what else we got up here? Hash browns. Go for the salad. Just kidding. I forgot to snap at the beginning. I forgot to snap at the beginning. So, doing the little things with great love, in a little way, huh? So, I did not want to pick up this bucket, because guess what? I'm going to pick more weeds tomorrow. I did not want to pick this out of the ground and put it in the shed where it's supposed to be. No, because guess what? I'm going to use it tomorrow. 
But that's a small thing, a small little action where you kind of deny yourself of the slothfulness of just letting your stuff lay out. It could rain tonight. It's not gonna, but it could. In theory, it could rain, you know, and this tool, you know, it shouldn't get too wet or else it'll rust and it'll wear and tear. All I'm saying is, is like, I'm trying, and you're probably trying too, and this is definitely the question of the day. Like, how do you, how do you accomplish, like, the little tasks that seem so meaningless, but at the end of the day, have so much impact? Uh, when you add them all up, all the little decisions we make every single day, and then they add up to big decisions. Um, so, how do you make those decisions? What goes through your mind? What goes through your heart? I don't know. I know this is a little philosophical for a weed picker, but uh, <laughs> work with me here. Work with me here. All right. Let's put it away. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Seek beauty, like we're doing right now. Um, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I don't even know if I talked about this in yesterday's blog. I can't, I can't remember, but I'm gonna repeat it. Why not? There's still good in this world. There is still good in this world. Still great people. Good, good people in this world. How do I know that? Remember in that vlog up there, uh, the tree blew over? Our neighbor's tree blew over? Well, uh, a couple days ago, I walk out to my front yard and I look over at the tree and the tree is not there. Why is the tree not there? Because it's been cut up into little perfect pieces with a chainsaw by our other neighbor, by our other neighbor. So it's like our neighbors are looking out for each other. And guess what? That's what I think we should do as neighbors. Um, look out for each other. Even if, what if, all right, what if I did not upload tomorrow or the next day I th I would hope I'd hope that somebody would be like wait a minute Seth didn't upload wait a minute and guess what for all you other youtubers I know when you're not uploading I know Fabio Shh. all right I know when you're not uploading and I'm like thinking about you guys and being like what are you guys doing where are you at what's up so I digress all I'm saying is there's still good in this world keep fighting I'm not just borrowing that line from Frodo. Come on, it's real. It's real. And our neighbor cutting up our other neighbor's tree without even asking, just going over and doing it for the person is amazing. Work hard.